Well, it is a title special. Full time from earlier at Anfield. Liverpool 2, Brighton 1. And just full time now from the Etihad. Manchester City 0. Arsenal 0. But yeah, I'm going to get straight into it. The, my, no, of course, I'm going to do the Liverpool game first. My thoughts on the Liverpool game earlier. What It was actually a very close encounter, actually. Danny Welbeck obviously gave Brighton the lead after two minutes. And I was like, yes! Yes! Because I generally thought, right, surely not. Surely Brighton wouldn't win at Anfield, wouldn't they? But then, obviously, Luis Diaz scored. And then, obviously, Mo Salah had to score, didn't he? And to be fair, though, he had many chances, but he missed absolute <laughs> sitters. Um, but yeah, don't get me wrong. Um, obviously, here's the Premier League trophy here. Um, <laughs> yeah, Brighton, they gave it a good go, didn't they, really? But their efforts just mean nothing. Um, at Anfield, you always expect to lose at Anfield, let's be honest. Um, I generally feel like Liverpool are the favourites for the title now because I just can't see him losing a game. I just can't see him losing losing a game. Um honestly that was so boring. No no And I can tell I can tell her why like they they're actually going for the title because it's gonna be Klopp because it's Klopp's farewell tour. Oh Klopp's farewell tour Shut up Absolute shut up. We won't hear the end of... We won't... We will not hear the end of Scouser saying, Oh, we won the league! We won the league! Have it, City! Shh, oh, my God. Honestly. Honestly. You're more worse than Arsenal fans. Bunch of cock... Cockiness. Cockiness. Watch you... Liverpool, right? Knowing them, they'll go and beat Brighton at home, but they'll but they'll probably lose... Lose four... Three... No, 4-3 to United again. That he did in the FA Cup like near three, three, four weeks ago. Four weeks ago. It's a joke. It's a joke. Um, but Brighton, for their quest for a European place, takes an even more damaging blow after a defeat at Anfield. Um, yeah. Um, uh, obviously... Don't get me wrong. I feel like Brighton, without their injuries they've had this season, I feel like Brighton would be near a European place. Like Matoma, Matoma's been out for ages. Uh, Danny Welbeck, no, Joe Pedro, uh, particularly that like Estepinian as well. Um, and Julio, Julio, uh, Julio Inciso, Inciso as well. Um, I thought he would have been. I thought he would have been um, really good to. I thought, I thought, like, players like them could come back and put Brighton back in a European place again, like they did, like they were last year. Like they were last year. And personally, I generally don't think Brighton might get um, Europe again this year. And I think maybe next year, give a rebuild. And plus as well, for Roberto De Zerbi, on about his future... About his future, um, I don't know where his future lies on the on the, under the line because obviously we, who will replace Jurgen Klopp and particularly with Bayern Munich as well with Thomas Tuchel leaving at the end of the season as well. Um, and obviously, um, Liverpool's next game is against Sheffield United, who obviously are bottom of the league. At Anfield again, which let's be honest, they will be no, they will hump, they will thrash Sheffield United. If I'm being truthfully honest, um, for Brighton, they've got Brentford, who themselves should have beaten United last night, um, but they didn't. But to be honest, though, Brentford away is always a tough game, no matter what, where where Brentford are in the league, even if they're challenging for a European place or if they're currently battling against relegation, um, just can't seem to win a game, um. Um, but yeah, um, but my man of the match in the Liverpool game, I think I'm. You know what? I might give it to. Um, do you know what? I might give it to. Um, no, actually, I might give it to McAllister actually because I think 
Honestly, Alexis McAllister, or Kevin! So basically, if you think you want to scream Kevin for, no, because was obviously Kevin McAllister, obviously from the Christmas film Home Alone. So yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna play the clip, but yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think Alexis McAllister is such a baller, honestly. As pain for me to say it, but as pain for me to say it, I was considering he's a Liverpool player, but he is generally is a baller. And he play, and he bossed the midfield again for Liverpool today. Um, but enough about Liverpool. Now let's talk about City Arsenal. That that was dreadful again from City. When will we ever win a game against the big six teams? Right? We can't beat Liverpool. We drew to Liverpool twice. Lost and drew to Arsenal. Drew to Spurs. Yeah, okay, excluding the FA Cup game against Spurs, when we won 1-0. When we won 1-0 against them, right? Guy we beating them in the league. Chelsea, twice, drawn. The only team we can beat is obviously United, because obviously United are easy. Of course, it's the Derby, which United are never going to beat us again, ever again. I'm joking, I'm joking. But let's be for real, like... That game was boring. Honestly, I just slept... I should have slept throughout that first half. Because it was that pretty boring. Pretty boring. Um, second half, okay. Obviously, Zach said it was better than the first half. But still, but still, that was dreadfully bad to watch. Honestly, I just could not watch that game any more longer. Um, but, personally, but personally, I think the advantage in the title race has gone to Liverpool because oh, wow. Liverpool right now are literally just unstoppable, aren't they, really? And dropping points again. That's, that's been the consistent theme with City all season, just dropping points again when we need to. Like, so, like, United, so, like, United, not United, so, Chelsea twice, dropped points. Spurs at home, dropped points. Villa lost, lost, dropped points. Liverpool at Anfield, no, Liverpool at the Etihad and at Anfield dropped points, and now we've dropped points. Now we've dropped points again today. Uh, for City's sake, it is two points dropped, but for Arsenal's sake, it's a point gained, actually, because Arsenal, they were just playing for the draw, weren't they, really? Saying that, though, they had chances of their own, Arsenal, but they just could not score. Uh, but yeah, my man of the match, Sky Sports did give it to William Saliba, and to be fair, I might give it to Odegaard, because I think he was literally the only player that actually tried. Um, and actually cared about the game um, because no one just we were all playing like two year old children in a nursery school playing with play doh playing with clay bloody playing with um Dis Disney figure Disney figurines um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video smash like subscribe get your notifications on I will be back with a vlog tomorrow for Bolton versus Reading and yeah thank you and also do some full chat reactions for Ipswich Saints and Leeds Hall um but yeah thank you for watching I love these and seconds. Oh.